Hello, this is 123RC123, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a multiplayer server and how to join one too in uh, the Diablo 3 beta using Mueg. Uh, so you haven't, if you haven't watched my last video on setting up a single player server, I strongly suggest you do so because I'm not going to re really be going over the basics in this in this video, uh, but they're all covered in the last one. So um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, first thing we need to do is port forward. Uh, so go to connect to your router. Uh, this is a little a little tricky to explain. Um, you need to connect to your router directly. Uh, so the way you do that is you would Google um, your router's model and then IP address at the end. So my router's model is a D-Link DIR615 um, I, and then just IP address at the end. Okay, so just search through all these. Um, I already, I already did it, so I already don't mind. Uh, yours might be similar to mine, but it might not be the same. So you do have to do a bit of research. I can't tell you what it is because I don't know all routers. Uh, but mine is 192.168.0.1. So once you have that, log in. Usually there's no password, and uh, we need to look at the machines connected to your router. Uh, so there's usually a list, and for me it's in the status area of the firmware. So these are all the machines connected to my router right now. Uh, they each have an IP address, so we need to either copy and paste this or remember it. Okay, and then uh, once you have that either in the notepad document or in your head, go to advanced if you have an advanced field, then port forwarding if you have a port forwarding area. Uh, so you're going to have a ton of fields here. We need to reserve two. Uh, the name can be anything you want. I'm, I just named mine D31 and D32. We're going to be port forwarding two ports, so you need two areas. Then the IP address is what we looked at earlier. That's uh, your computer's IP address in relation to your router. Um, that's in the status area. And then if you have a TCP and UDP field, you need to fill that in uh, for each port. So the first port is 1,999. The second port is 1,345. Uh, it, you might not have these two areas, you might just have one. So if you do, then just put it in once. Okay, uh, save set. Oh, sorry. If you have a checkbox beside the fields, then you need to check that off, okay? Um, if you don't, then the router won't save it. Uh, so save the settings. Uh, your router is probably going to restart, your internet's going to kick out, but it should only last a few seconds. Okay, and then the second thing you need to do is find out your actual IP address. So you can go to whatsmyip.net, that's w-h-a-t-s-m-y-i-p.net. Uh, IP address is right at the top here, so I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and now you can open up Moo.ext. Uh, so we're going to be changing two things here, um, the public IP and NAT enabled. So first, check off NAT enabled, it's right here on the left. And then public IP in the place of 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Just paste your actual IP address. You can take out this comment here if you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now you're uh, you're all set for hosting, but not for joining. So um, I'll show you guys what to do to host a game, and then I'll show you what to do to join a game. Alright, so log in with once again anything you like, uh, as long as there's an at symbol in the username. Press enter. Okay, so let's do campaign. Um, and here, in the, before you click start game, there's access invite only below that. That's by default. Let's click that, go to public game. Okay, done. Alright, so that's good. Then you can click start game. Your game is up and available to anyone who has your IP address. I'm just going to close this, shut down the server. If you want to join a game, um, if you're hosting it, then you're already playing the game that you hosted, but if your friend wants to join up with you, uh, then they need to go into their Diablo 3 installation path and create a shortcut for Diablo3.exe. Not the launcher, this will not work with the launcher. It has to be the exe, just called Diablo3.exe. Um, so I've already made my shortcut. It's right here on my desktop already. Uh, so right click the, the shortcut, go to properties, and here at the end, after the last quotation mark, put in a space, 
and then this will be in the description you have to put in the uh, the shortcut target parameter uh, that's what I'm going to call it I don't know if there's a technical name for it but um, it's dash launch space dash uh, error or or error address or whatever um, yeah so just copy that oops sorry uh, copy that and uh, where is it there it is uh, don't pay attention to what I just did I kind of messed up um, right so after the last quotation mark in the target field just paste that dot dash launch stuff and then here where it says 127.0.0.1 uh, paste the actual IP address too that you put in for the public IP here so you can give this to your friend over MSN text whatever do what you want and then they will put it in the target field here um, the 1345 uh, should stay the same at the end just replace the 127.0.0.1 with the actual IP address so click apply OK and then they can open up Diablo 3 um, this won't actually work because the server's not up but um, I'll start up the server and show you guys it's going to be laggy a bit because I know there's going to be another copy of Diablo 3 that's going to get opened oh oh nope I guess not alright so I'm just going to log in with the same as before 123123 one, okay campaign remember this is if you want to join a game so the server should already be up uh, your buddy should tell you hey uh, I want you to join my server so this is what you do go to public games and here there should only be one uh, you click that and just click join that's it that's all there is to it but remember the server has to be up ports have to be forward properly uh, you'll see your friend in game if you don't then you did something wrong okay uh, so that's it thanks for watching um, just a reminder that I cannot help you with port forwarding issues if it doesn't work if you don't know your address you have to figure it out yourself because I, I can't I can't figure out all these different model names right um, it's not that hard to find it so uh, yeah uh, subscribe if you want won't hate you for it um, and thanks again for watching.